To a story you will see only on six. New evidence just released in a case against a Windermere man accused of raping women. Investigators believe Daryl Patterson took advantage of at least one of those women as she was unconscious. Now tonight, News 6 has obtained new documents in the case, including a conversation between a reluctant Patterson and a detective. Eric Sandoval is live at the Orange County Jail tonight. Eric. Yeah, Ginger, we got a hold of some new documents that really detail these new charges that were filed against Patterson just a couple weeks ago. And we also got that phone call that shows Patterson wasn't about to help police. Hello. Hey, Daryl, it's John Allen. Windermere Police Detective John Allen called Daryl Patterson in February of last year after investigators say videos surfaced of Patterson having sex with unconscious women. We need to talk to you about these videotapes. If it's something you, know, you want to arrest me on, then that's fine. The detective said he needed to identify the women in the videos to see if what was recorded was consensual. And if you could tell me who they are, it would make, it would make my job much easier. I cannot help you. We hear the detective press him more. I've got concerns for the, you know, the, the you know, the, the welfare of these women. I mean, they're, I mean, they're unconscious on the, on the uh, tapes. I mean, for for all I know, they could be dead. But I, I need, I need to be able to find them, and make sure they're okay. And if you could help me find them and make sure they're okay, I, I would appreciate that. At this time, I'm not willing to communicate with you. I have to talk to my attorney. Investigators say Patterson never helped them ID these women, but three of them have now come forward saying that they recognize themselves in some of his videos. Investigators say the latest came forward in August, saying she recognized her tattoo in some of the pictures police had been circulating. She told investigators she'd gone to a back bar in downtown Orlando with Patterson and ordered a drink. She said she started feeling funny waiting in line in the restroom. She said the hair on her arms were tingly. She told investigators, pretty much, I have no recollection of the rest of the night. Windermere police showed her what they called DVD number 10, which they said showed a woman unconscious having sex with Patterson. She told investigators, that is me in Daryl's bedroom at his house in Windermere. Now, we also found out in these documents that a friend of Patterson said that he told him that if he got out of jail, he would be fleeing the country. He's still here in jail tonight, and uh, his next court hearing is set for some time in December. We are live at the Orange County Jail tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Ginger? Unbelievable. Thank you, Eric.